want some help? I mean, I've been watching like 10 different things. I think I've almost got it figured out. But if you want to offer some advice, that's totally fine. Posture, make sure you bow over to the ball. Get your hands under your chest. So not under your stomach or under your forehead, but right under your chest. All right, stance is how wide your feet are. Get about shoulder width apart. Ball position is gonna be closer to that front side or that target side, about two inches from your heel. Hey, Mr. Lawnmower Guy, thanks for showing up. Appreciate the guest appearance. So target side, back side, make sure the ball is closer to the target side. The reason that you put the ball towards the target side of your stance and that you put it up on a tee is because of the loft on the club face. The same holds true for the sand wedge. You put it in the middle of your stance because of the loft on your club face. What? What are you even talking? I have no idea what you just said. Oh, sorry. Okay, come here, I'll show you what I mean by loft. The angle of the club face determines where you're gonna play the ball in your stance. The driver has to be forward because it doesn't have a lot of loft. Sand wedge can be in the middle because it has a lot of loft. Oh, so you mean if I want to make the ball go high, like if I was using my sand wedge, I wouldn't put it in the forward part of my stance because I'd probably miss the ball. But with the driver, it makes sense because the club is longer and there's less loft, so it needs to catch on what seems like it'd be the up part of the swing, right? Yes, that's exactly right. Because of the loft on the club face for the driver, how it's not very much, you play the ball more forward in your stance or closer to your target. The loft on the club face is set up so that when you make contact, because you swing in a circle around your body, when you make contact, it's on the up part of your swing. Well done. Because the driver's a longest club in your bag, you're gonna have a greatest distance between your toes and the ball. See the difference between the length of these two clubs. Tee up the ball about a half a golf ball above the top line. That seam between the club face and the top of the club. So half of the ball sits above that line. All right, that makes sense on how I can make it go up, right? Because that's the goal with the driver is to get it to climb, like take off like an airplane almost. All together now. So with your setup, remember ball position is towards your target side. Yep, just inside your left heel about two inches. No need to lean. You're going to get centered and balanced. Perfect. Hands are still going to be under your chest like we talked about before. You can make sure that handle is under your left ear. And we're ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this thing. Impressive. I think the best part is how you were able to change your clothes every single step. How'd you do that? Well, it's because I'm a wizard. And the reason I was able to make good contact is because you reminded me to stay pressurized. That's an excellent tip. You know, that whole squeeze in your armpits bit so that my arms will stay active. That's very helpful. So thanks. Well, I feel like I've almost got it. What do you think? You think I need to...